So I have quite a few new towels in what's behind me here, my new complete microfiber package version 2.0. I'm working through each individual towel here to explain those specifically, uh, mainly for the product description that uh, many of you are watching this video on uh, in, the, in the Obsessed Garage store. Uh, but the next towel is a edged, satin edged, uh, 420 GSM, uh, dual pile, uh, dual, dual pile, try to say that five times fast, towel that I use for my wheels. And I'll explain to you why I chose this and why I like this towel for that purpose. Uh, but the uh, one of the things that I'll make note with all of the towels in my store uh, that I may not have mentioned in some of the other videos, um, I sell these, the pricing that these are priced at, whether it's part of the package or individually, I'm selling these at the same price that you would pay if you bought 25 to 100 or 25 or more from the rag company store directly. Uh, so I'm getting you a little better pricing because I'm buying in such large volume. Uh, I think these towels are you know, $3.65 a piece uh, uh, retail, so we're getting them at a discount from, from that. So this is a 16 by 16. This is a Chinese made, but don't let that turn you off. This is a great towel. In fact, probably my favorite towel. It's the same towel as my small drying towel. Uh, the rag company calls these spectrums uh, or creatures. Uh, I call it a wheel and tire towel. So you could certainly use it for other applications. I'm using it for the wheels. Uh, but the difference between this and my drying towel, the drying towel is edgeless. This is edged. I like the edge better. It hangs better on my hand. I tend to have a, have a tendency to drop it less uh, when when I'm dealing with the cracks and crevices of the wheels. Uh, I just, it just works well. Another little trick, you can take this now satin edge, which is really absorbent. I kind of tuck it in there around that little gap around the bottom where water collects and between the wheel and tire. Uh, and, and so this, this serves that purpose really well. I know a lot of people would like a black towel for the tires. I decided to do gray. I want to see it. I want to see if there's, you know, if I didn't do a good job of getting the brake dust removed. Of course, my GT3 RS is carbon ceramic, so we shouldn't have that issue. But on other cars, uh, I want to know that I'm doing, my wheel cleaner is doing a good job. Uh, so I'll be able to see if the wheel's really dirty. Um, gray still is going to hold up better, I think, than using a you know, white towel or, or a lighter towel on your wheels. Uh, but the, the basic premise here, the idea, the edge helps me hold on to it better. The higher pile I'm using for the wheel face with some sort of drying aid like CarPro spray wax or something like that. I'll spray it in the barrel and get the face of the wheel. This is again at drying after I've blown it off with a leaf blower. And then I flip it over and then I'll do my tires with the lower pile, right? So the philosophy there is I'm gonna wipe the tires off, prepare it for CarPro Pearl. Once the Pearl is done, then I'll come back and wipe the excess off with this towel, throw it in the washer, wash it, and do it again, over and over and over again. So 70-30, poly, 70% uh, polyester, 30% polyamide. Uh, this is, a again, a satin edge instead of silk. Silk isn't as absorbent, so all of the towel of my towels are transi transitioning to, to, to satin edges. And the 16 by 16 size, I think, is good. Uh, so 420 GSM, uh, Chinese made, but amazing towel. Uh, this is for uh, wheel and tire cleaning. So what happens when the, when the force pulls you back, your foot naturally comes off the gas. You have to keep your foot to the floor, the floor, to the floor.